Hello! Hello everyone! Welcome to a new video. This is my... This is record update number... Number 16. Okay, record update number 16. And uh, today I'm going to show you um, records I bought. The what records I bought in July, I only bought three records in July, and the ones I bought so far in this month of August. Um, and I found some great selections, alright, some great stuff, alright, so let's get on with it. Um, these first two I bought when I went to see Roger Waters live in Liverpool at a shop called Dig Vinyl. This is Blue Monday by New Order, this is the 12 inch 1988 remix by Quincy Jones. And uh, yeah, it's got a black inner sleeve and a uh, black custom label, so much, so much. So yeah, it's pretty awesome to find that. And the B-side is Beach Buggy, and the factory number is 773R. So yeah. Next one I bought was BG's ESP, which nice. It has nice. That has the hype sticker. They're about three pounds this. And it comes with this cool thing which I'm going to show you. It comes with this like gramophone thing in the room. It was so cool to find this because it's pretty awesome though, this little piece of memorabilia in here. The record collection, definitely. And uh, so I'm just seeing if you can see the TV because I don't want you to, I don't want to get copyright struck. Sorry. Sorry. So yeah. Um. So yeah, here's the inner sleeve. The Warner Brothers label, just the random Warner Brothers label. But yeah, good album, got some good tracks on it. Um, but for 80s stuff, I consider one my favourite. They only did three 80s albums. All my favourite bands. This next one was found in Mud Shark Records. Great find this uh, New Order Low Life with the tracing paper. Psyched to find this on record. And it has the foldable tracing paper. So I'm going to open it like this. But it's so awesome to have the tracing paper. So now I have all their albums from the 1980s. So yeah, there's the, the sleeve. It's a normal white background. The label, the record label, is a custom one, white and black. So the white, right, white, background, black, right. So I don't show it. My next one is um, two of the, these decks I bought at the pop-up record shop, which came to um, a place not far from me. This one's The There and Infected, which I've not listened to yet. Uh, well, I was going to get Soul Mine, but I didn't have Soul Mine. And it's on the Epic label, and it's just a... And it's got a cool custom label, which I'll show you. Really good band, really good music. You know, Matt Johnson, the only member of the group. They're still going. For that. Um, and my, then the next one I bought from the same place, Pink Floyd, Scoop by Clouds. The soundtrack to the movie La Vallée. Or the valley, and uh, this was good to find it on my And then I found uh, some of the green, green harvest label, so the regular one. It's the first Pink Floyd item, surprisingly, I've bought in a year. I've never found any others. And these next two were just 
fantastic to find. They were amazing, good price as well for them. And, um, um, yeah. Okay, so that's the story. It was um, Tuesday, Wednesday, when um, we were in um, Clandidno, which is a city, which is another city, about 20 minutes, half an hour away from mine. And it's the main city, and um, they had a record shop there called um, Record Den, which is only open on Thursdays, right, Saturdays. So, so my dad, um, so if you look at that thing, I said, you know, he did take me. It's right to me, you can take me after you come back on holiday. I'm not going on holiday, obviously. Um, so I said, so uh, my thought, you know, I actually went out and looked and said, oh, it's just records to me. I saw some of the window. Cool, you know, good shop for me to go to it. So. And then we went to, um, what was it again? Then I went to a, um, to an antique shop, antique fair, whatever. It was an antique shop, I figured, yeah. So I went inside there, thinking, Joe, maybe they've got some vinyl here, because I usually go to a charity shop and them, which has some vinyl, didn't have any vinyl. Ones I didn't, ones I didn't really want, it. ones I went like desperate to have. And then I went in, and I looked at the first crate, and it was like, this is like mid stuff, like rare stuff. Um, then I went to the back of the back, on the back, no, I went a bit, a bit back and had another box. Oh, there's another box over there. Oh, look at that. Couldn't believe what I found. Um, you know, just amazing for great prices as well. The first one was a steel. Prince, sign of the times. I could not believe that I found this. I, I, I never knew I'd find this in millions of years, but I managed to find a, an LP of Sign of the Times. It's a mint, records of mint. It's really, yeah, I like, yeah, they said the, yeah, the vinyl is excellent. It is. Barely any crackle. And it's a brilliant record, probably his best record, I think. Paisley Park label. And then the next one here. The Prince. And then put it again. But you know, what a steal. You know, could not believe I found this on vinyl for such a good price. You know, great songs on here. You've got, you know, the title track. You've got the look. Um, you know, starfish and coffee. Just amazing stuff on this album. Thrilled, thrilled to have it in my collection. And the next one was just as good because I've been this listen as well. Prince, let's go crazy. Twelve inch. Could not believe I found this as well. I had to buy both. They were the, they, the, the two one. There were the two things there that I was really intrigued. I was that really intrigued me to buy them because I love because Prince is what I'm listening to at the moment. Um, so yeah, fantastic to find this in good nick. So it's you. Yeah, let's go crazy and take me with you. Both amazing songs and the B side of erotic erotic city, which I haven't listened to yet. But, you know great to find it on vinyl. That's it for this video, um, there'll be some more videos coming up soon, so stay tuned for them. Like, subscribe and watch, uh, and also watch, um, I recommend you watch the video link here. Alright, right. bye bye.